Hi all, Nick Silverstein here. Today I got my old uh, Devil Latitude E6500 here. And you are not going to want to miss what I did to it. Uh, I'll give you a little hint and it has something to do with Mac. Alright, uh, roll the intro and let's get started. So yes, as you can see by the uh, the title of the video, I did put El Capitan on here. Now it's not the best installation, but it does work well. Um, still working out some bugs, but basically I got El Capitan on this old Dell computer, and it's running an NVIDIA Quadro NVS 160M. And that has 256 megs of video memory, plus 6 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, um, Intel Core 2 Duo, 2.26 gigahertz. It's a pretty good machine. Uh, so let's boot it up uh, and see what it does. Now, like I said, it does have a lot of problems right now with El Capitan, but I'm working those out. But I just wanted to update you guys and show you that there is El Capitan working on this computer. Um, it runs surprisingly well. There's the Apple logo. That was com Clover, as you saw. Yes, I did get it working with Clover. It's booting up fairly quick because of the SSD. I put a Samsung 850, no, 840 Pro in here. Had it lying around, thought I would just upgrade it. Um, okay, now we're at the login screen. As you can tell, it's on Gabby 10. But if you don't believe me, I'm going to type in my password and then I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to type in my password, I'm going to cut it, type in my password, and then when I get back, You'll see me press enter live on camera. Alright. Okay, I just pressed, I just typed in my password. I want to press enter live on camera so you know I'm not filming you. Um, this is a Capi 10. I just didn't want you guys knowing my password. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here we are at the desktop. The color fixed itself, as you can see. I set it up so that the color is right. It is really slow. It's much slower than Yosemite. Um, I think it's because of the SM Bio settings. In order, well, I'm not gonna say too much. If you guys want a tutorial, I'll make a tutorial when I get around to it. But let me know if you guys want a tutorial. Let me just prove it to you that it is El Capitan. The trackpad is really buggy on El Capitan. As you can see, we oh, can't see. I'm gonna zoom in. There we go. OS 10. If the camera will focus, come on, focus. The camera will not focus. Let me see if I pull it out and pull it back a little bit. There we go. OS 10, El Capitan, 10.11.1, um, MacBook Pro 15 inch, 2.4, 2.22 gigahertz, processor 2.26 gigahertz, Intel Core 2 Duo, 6 gigs of DDR2, 800 megahertz RAM, NVIDIA Quadro NVS160M, 256 megs, and my serial number. Uh, so if you go into displays, it shows the old style Mac Pro, uh, 1920 by 1200, very high resolution display, storage, 255 gigabyte, a 4 gigabyte and a 2 gigabyte, it does recognize my RAM, 
support and service. Let me show you that it is an SSD system report. Let me first show you the graphics card. It's an NVIDIA Quadro 160M, 1920 by 1200, 256 megs of VRAM, and SATA. This computer, I upgraded the DVD drive to a Blu ray drive, and it's a Samsung 840 Pro. And if we go back and we go to storage, it says I can write Blu ray discs. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Alright, I hope that was clear for you. Now let me zoom out so I can show you a little more of what this thing can do. Sorry about that. My tripod is a little stiff. Um, so if I click on Launchpad, you can really see how the 1920 by 1200 affects this. The text is really tiny, but the uh, the uh, icons are really large. If I open up something like Calculator, it loads really tiny down there. And let me open up Safari. Okay, that works, and you can see all my pages are synced. iCloud does work on here. Uh, I also got um, App Store and iTunes working. The only thing that doesn't work is FaceTime and iMessage. Those never seem to work for me on uh, Hackintoshes. Uh, let's see. Let's try to download an app. And I'll prove to you guys that it does work. Let's see. Black Magic, that's a good one. Okay. Let's install it. Probably gonna ask for my iTunes password. Oh, I didn't ask for my iTunes password. And there you can see it's downloading. Okay, there it is. start it and I get 250 270 something almost 280 275 on read on write and 297 on read 284 now let's see if I get 300 on read Nope, but almost 300. Nope. Almost 300. So basically, this is a very decent computer. I don't know why it's so slow. I think it's something to do with the SMBIO settings. But that... If you want a tutorial, I'll make a tutorial. But you need to set the SMBIO settings to this mode. To the MacBook Pro, this particular model. In order to get all the USB sticks working. Um, guys, let me know if you want a tutorial, um, comment, rate, subscribe, write a comment if you want a tutorial, alright, see you guys, peace.